everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. If you've ever done any long-term painting, then you know that one of the toughest things to do is to match a color that you previously used. I've done some oils over the years, and sometimes I come back literally weeks after I started only to find that I'm out of a certain color mixture and I have to mix it up again from scratch. Photoshop solves this problem by allowing you to save any color you like, and you can pull it up even years later. The swatches panel even let you save entire palettes of colors all grouped together. So once again, the first thing that we're going to have to do is bring up the swatches panel. And we do that by going to the window menu and just making sure that the swatches option is checked. That'll bring up the swatches panel. This is basically your working palette right here. There are several different default palettes and we can add a custom swatch to any of the palettes simply by creating a color. and then clicking on the Add Swatch icon at the bottom of the screen. That's going to add our active color to the current palette. If you want to rename your swatch, double click it and you can name it anything you want. Now let's jump into the panel menu. The first option is New Swatch, and then you have the options to change the look of the swatches panel itself. I'm going to leave it a small thumbnail, which is where it is by default. Reset, Load Swatches. If you come down here, these are the default palette options. I'm not going to go into detail on every one of these palette groups. Most of them are based on decades-old printing standards. Uh, Pantone, for example, began its life as a printing company, soon became well-known for its Pantone matching system, a proprietary color space that found standard use in several industries such as paint, fabrics, and plastics. Similar in nature to Pantone, HKS is a German color system named for three German color manufacturers. These color sets are also industry standards. All right, so finally, let's talk about creating our own palette. Uh, if we select any one of these colors up here, there are two ways to delete some of these colors. The first is to grab a color by clicking on it, hold down the mouse button, and then just drag it over to the delete icon. Second way is to right click one of the swatch colors and just click delete swatch. Here you'll also see we can create a new swatch and rename a swatch. We're gonna get a confirmation dialog and just hit okay. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna delete a few of these swatches. And then I'm going to show you how to create your own palette. All right, so let's say we have our own brand new color palette that we want to hang on to because we want to use it in a series of paintings. Simply go up here to the menu and select Save Swatches. And that brings up the Save dialog where we can then name our palette and then save it in whatever folder we want. You'll notice by default it saves it in the Color Swatches folder. So I'm just going to leave all these presets as they are, hit Save, and then later on we're going to select a different color palette and anytime we can come into the menu click on load swatches reload our palette and it'll be added to the bottom of whatever palette we're working with well that's all for now please remember to comment rate and subscribe below and send any questions you might have to requests at mahalo.com thanks for watching